Hello guys, it's me Lunar. Welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. In this one I have for you guys 100 quick tips and tricks you might not know about which will give you an advantage online and most of these can be used in story mode as well. If the video is helpful, a like is very much appreciated. If you hunt, you can carry two carcasses at once by placing one on your horse and dragging the other with your lasso. Remember, you can't drag a skinned animal, so wait until you're at the butcher before you do that. To get a perfect kill every time to maintain your animal pelt quality, use your lasso and kill the animal with your knife. To avoid skinning an animal to save time, stop your horse just over the top of it before skinning. To get extra cash, bring a wagon hunting with you and throw the carcasses in the back to take them to the butcher, like here at Emerald Ranch. You can reverse wagons and horses by pressing and holding R1 or RB. It can allow you to make far more precise maneuvers with the wagon. Skinned animals and non-skinned animals give you the same amount of money. So always skin animals before selling them, as you can also sell the animal parts for extra cash. If you fast travel, any hunted goods you have stored on your horse will disappear. You can't fish on boats and online, but you can drop animals in to transport them, good for taking bigger fish to the butcher in Saint Denis. To reach animals in deep water, use your lasso to wheel them in using RT or R2. Press Eagle Vision to see which way the scent is blowing in the wind, and try to stay downwind of animals you're hunting. Being downwind and crouching will allow you to get a lot closer to animals. You don't need to slowly reel when fishing using a lure. If you just cast and hit RT and R2 and then wait, a fish will bite. Be careful when fishing online, if you break your line when you're using a lure, it will be lost forever. If you hang around waterfalls, you can simply find and pick up fish, especially salmon that fall out of the water. Another good place is the beaver dam where fish get stuck and you can simply pick them up. In this clip, I found around 8 dead fish on the dam and you can leave and then come back to get more. When cooking meat at the campfire, move along in the d-pad to add herbs, giving better bonuses when you eat them. To regenerate your cores online, head to your camp and rest at the campfire. The rate of recovery depends on how upgraded your camp is. Also having fuller outer cores restores health faster. To clean your character online, use the wash bucket in your camp. You can also use enemy player camps to use their wash bucket, and at the same time you can steal their beer. You unlock fast travel at your camp at level 65. It does cost $700 however, but it will be free to use after that, so will pay off eventually. If your camp is far away, you can reset its location to somewhere nearby by selecting the campfire in your menu. Since the game is bugged, always select your top option no matter the location, and nearly every time it will put the camp as close as possible. Sell all your canned food supplies and instead cook and stow meat from your campfire. One fully cooked steak fully restores all three cores, adding herbs will even add fortifications. Saddlebags on horses can be looted, there is one on each side of every horse. You can reset challenges online for additional rewards giving you more XP or more gold. You're rewarded with new treasure maps every 5 levels in game starting at level 10, they're available to pick up at the post office. Hideouts can spawn all over the map and appear randomly. In online, gang hideouts can be spotted from far away by the smoke at their camp. Instead of using money to fast travel, open the menu and select a different region free roam to travel there for free. Treasure maps are dropped from leaders or gang members during hideouts. They can also randomly drop from enemies who ambush you on the road, so make sure to loot everyone. To get unlimited items in game, when you find provisions, ammo or jewellery, simply reload your game for the stuff to respawn. In PvP, keep moving. If you stand still, your position will be revealed on the map. In PvP, press down on the D-pad to briefly expand your mini-map when there is a bright red indicator near you, so you can better see an enemy's position. In PvP, be sure your player's perspective is zoomed out as far as possible to give you a better look of your surroundings. In PvP, aim for the head to get an instant kill. When aiming your weapon, press X or square to dive and dodge gunfire, or to throw your opponent's aim off. You can use meds in PvP to heal. You can use Deadeye in PvP to get kills. 
When you come up against a player and you are both aiming at each other and there's a chance of them getting a headshot, try ducking by pressing the left stick to throw off their aim. To stop you getting headshot in game or in PvP, when you reach level 46, equip the perk never without one, your hat will block an enemy's headshot, then fall off. If you get lassoed online, you can quickly escape by selecting your knife in your weapon wheel. The hogtag player is quicker, equip your lasso and then melee attack them. To kill online players easier, sneak up behind them and grab them. You can punch them to death while holding them, it's pretty funny. Pressing left on the D-pad while aiming will switch shoulders. It can be useful for peeking around corners as well. Despite having different looking damage stats, if a weapon's damage is in the same segment, in this image both weapons damage is in segment 4, therefore they do the same damage. The difference between the two is so ammo and weapon condition can affect them differently. Using the same gun, shooting players in the legs and arms always requires an extra hit to kill them over hitting them in the torso. To quickly tell how much bullet a weapon will require to kill someone, simply count the number of segments with dark areas in them. The Cattleman Revolver for example has 3 segments with dark areas in them, so will require 3 bullets to kill. An extra bullet if you only hit enemies hands or legs. Shotguns always fire 2 or more bullets each. Each bullet has its own damage stat, so at close range where you're not likely to miss, they are more powerful than every other weapon. You can rapidly fire if you aim from the hip. When aiming, press up on the d-pad to fire a warning shot. You can pre-aim if you know where someone is going to be, so you can get perfect aim when you see the enemy. Pressing down on the d-pad while in first person will enable iron sights. Running into someone and pressing triangle will tackle them to the ground. In a race, try and beat up everyone you can. If you're in the front pack of racers and you're the last to survive, then you really can't be caught if you keep your stamina up and you don't crash. It might be obvious, but since there's no auto-aim during races, shoot people using Deadeye instead of trying to free-aim. In a race, if you're running low on health or Deadeye, you can use your provisions from the menu wheel. Main missions online are honor-dependent. If you've completed all missions and you're only at 75% completion, increase or decrease your honor to find more missions. To find out what objectives you need to get in order to get gold medals, hit left on the d-pad in a mission to view the mission briefs. Pay attention to the pop-up indicator when beginning a stranger mission in free roam, it will tell you whether or not you gained or lowered your honor. In hideouts to avoid losing honor, simply spare and then tie up the leader and then you can loot him that way. To increase bonding with your horse as quick as possible, the fastest way is to just lead them by pressing Y or triangle. You gain around 0.8 XP per second, meaning to fully bond a thoroughbred for example, it will take just over 40 minutes in total. Your horse will disappear a lot in game and be replaced by the scrawny nag. It means your horse is dead. Press left on the d-pad, go to stable and then pay the vet bills, you will get your horse back in 2 minutes. When riding through trees, don't touch the left analogue stick, your horse has its own guidance system automatically avoiding trees. You can disrupt this by steering, forcing you to actually crash into trees. Select left on the d-pad and open your stables to select default horses for different things like races, missions and free roam. You can use cinematic mode while horse riding to auto travel to selected waypoints. You can also online open your map while travelling to see where you are and to look for other players nearby. If your horse has another player on it, kick them off by opening your menu, go to stables and change your horse's access. Horses with extra weight including animal carcasses and other players drain your stamina faster. Don't buy horse insurance for $150 to stop your horse from dying, it simply returns to the stable which you can get back for a few dollars. Don't have unused stalls at the stable, it will cost you a daily fee that you don't need to spend. You cannot remove your saddle and place it on a wild horse. You can rename your horse at the stables.
Your horse's stamina and health will drain faster if you clean and feed your horse. You can purchase the horse brush in the catalogue or stables. Your hats are not stored on your horse online, but outfits are, so you can save your best outfit and re-equip the outfit if you lose your hat to replace it later. Higher levels of horse bonding increase the time it takes for your horse to become fully agitated and throw you off. Your horse can be cleaned by riding it through a body of deep water or in a rainstorm. Holding triangle or Y whilst on your horse will hit your horse to most objects. You can't tame wild horses, but you can still ride them, including donkeys and mules, which can also be ridden. You can rear your horse by pressing R1 and square or RB and X. To unlock more haircuts in online, apply hair pomade first before visiting the barber to unlock more hairstyle options. You can remake your online character whenever you want to from the menu, however, only your money will carry over. Open your player tab and options to show you what rank your character is currently at, how much experience points they will need to reach the next level, and the current level cap in game. By entering the progress menu of the main menu and selecting rank unlocks, you can see exactly what you'll unlock with each new rank in Red Dead Online. Improve your character's ability by equipping and upgrading ability cards. Press RB or R1 to change to different kinds. To gain weight, simply eat tons of food when your cores are already full and stop moving around. Weight, temperature and being poisoned can drain your health stamina and deadeye a lot quicker. While your health core will fully drain, you can't actually die from standing in the cold online. If you hold Y or Triangle and rest anywhere in game, your cores won't drain including while you're in the cold. In fact, your health will even regenerate slightly if you've lost all your health while in the cold. To raise honor quickly, you can simply hunt and skin every animal you come across or catch small fish and store them. NPCs will understand your emotes and react when you use them. Using the companion app while playing online will show the location of other players, so that way you can use it without having to use your in-game map to see where other players are. There is no passive mode online, but if you're killed by the same player three times in a row, you can use parley to stop them from killing you for a short time, or you can simply go to the menu and join a new session. Press free roam and join a new session, it will put you in a different game. To find the train online, simply open your map and look for its marked location. If it's not there, load a new session until you find one, but it always does show on the map. You can't be griefed online if you're fully inside of a store. When at the gunsmith, buy maximum ammo by holding the A or X button instead of spamming them. This also works for every other store. Purchasing outfits in the store doesn't unlock the individual items, so consider buying the items separately that make up the outfit so you can get both at the same time instead of having to buy them individually. Items bought in your free roam catalogue will be delivered to your camp or any post office instantly. The best animal to sell online is actually the spoonbill. In total, for a perfect one including the carcass, you will get $9. It's not quite as high as some of the bigger animals, but they're far easier to kill, easier to catch, more abundant, and the pelts will all fit inside of your satchel. If you like to play fully immersed, then you could turn off the minimap in the main menu. If you want to play with the minimap, but you want to take a picture for example and get rid of it, then you can hold down the d-pad to quickly turn it on and off. When riding your horse, every 20 seconds or so, press the left analog stick down to get your horse to regain a certain amount of its stamina. This also works during races. Enabling the toggle to run setting lets you just tap X or A once to keep running, although you do still have to tap it in order to sprint. You can hold square or X continually to loot things instead of pressing it each time. Walk around a room to automatically start collecting stuff. Checking the time in game requires a pocket watch which costs one gold bar, but you can get one for free at this location. When jumping, you can grab onto most ledges. It makes getting around Saint Denis on the rooftops a lot more fun.
To see more emotes on the emote wheel, try tapping or holding the emote button. There are actually three animations for every emote. You can catch fish easily in shallow water by simply trampling them with your horse and then picking them up. Lawmen will come after you if you kill them loot a player, or if you just hogtie and loot an NPC. But if you beat up the NPC first, or run and tackle them, and then loot them, you won't get into trouble from the law. Well guys, that was my 100 quick tips and tricks. There were quite a few other ones that were pretty similar to this, but not quite that I didn't add into the video. So I think I had in total in the end over 120 tips. I didn't want to add every single one of them into this video. I'm sure you guys will have some of them that, I've, that I haven't added in the comments below. Just want to thank everyone for watching this video. It took me a really long time to make. I've been working on it all week. Most of the time went into getting those 10 second clips for every single one. But I have had a lot of fun making this video. If you want to see more Red Dead Online stuff, don't forget to like and subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss a video. Enjoy the rest of your day guys and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.